guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Draper Cohen, and I'll be your host this evening. <laughs> Today, another one. I don't, I don't know what to call these, so they're just going to be called another one until I figure out a name. Or if you guys suggest a name, comment down below what you think they should be called. Unless you guys like another one. I personally like it, but whatever. The she-devil who wasn't. Amanda Knox was proven innocent of murder, so why did she spend nearly four years in an, in an Italian prison? After her flatmate Meredith Kircher's body was discovered, covered in stab wounds, Knox was taken for questioning by the Italian police. Knox claimed she was bullied and hit by the police with no interpreter or attorney present until five days later when they coerced a conf <sighs> when they co coerced a confession from her. At her trial, prosecutor Gulenio, I think that's an Italian name, Mignini, accepted Knox as a sixth grade psychopath and the murder as rough sex gone wrong. Following his lead, the press had a field day spreading allegations about Foxy Noxy. Knox and former boyfriend Raphael Solecchio both appealed and it took years in a more expert review of the DNA evidence used to convict her to exonerate them both. I guess that, um, like, refuse to say anything, even if you're bullied or something. Like, don't say anything and insist, like, you have a lawyer or an attorney present. That way, you're not forced into, um, out and forced into confessing when it's not real. I don't know, I've never been, I've never, like, done anything bad to know what to do but also if you're innocent it's, I don't know okay I didn't sleep well last night so I can't really think right now sorry guys but um I guess if you're innocent make sure you have an attorney so you can prove your innocence and that's all I got though um I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, funkiness. Bye, guys.